Bland a suicide. Bland was found hanging in her cell last week, days after her arrest. She was pulled over for not using her blinker, but then arrested after a confrontation with the arresting officer. The officer asked Bland to put out her cigarette and get out of the car, but she refused until she was threatened with a taser. While there are questions about her death, the case has law enforcement agencies across the country taking a closer look at protocol during arrests. Carrie Beal tonight reports on what your rights are in a story that's all new. When those lights flash and sirens turn on, Master Trooper Brooks David says the best option is to remain calm and pull over. We don't want any problems. That can come up in court. So if you don't agree with what you're being pulled over for or cited for, you're, you're given a court date. You can always go fight that in court. But while pulled over, you must abide by the law. When you get pulled over by a tra for a traffic stop, you're actually being detained by a law enforcement officer. So your rights are really frozen there at the time. Now, if you are pulled over for probable cause, Brooks David says you are required to roll your window down to talk with the officer. And if the officer asks you to get out of your car, you do have to comply. Unless there's some factor of why you can't, whether you're handicapped or you're hurt at the time with a broken leg or what have you. Relating to the case in Texas, David says it's hard to tell if putting out the cigarette was necessary. I'm in my car, but I have to put out my cigarette. Well, you can step on out now. I didn't know what the trooper was seeing uh, with the cigarette, whether she was going to possibly burn the ticket or not. David says you are allowed to record a police officer, but if it interferes with the investigation, the officer can seize the device, but not delete anything recorded. Carrie Beal reporting, KTC TV3. And troopers also say if you are pulled over, you have to.